And we live, New York. Got a lot of products here. All you can see is color, but there's more. Four products. Kind of heading to the mix. Spray pigs and Nyko gaze. It's summer. The heat's coming. It's like we're at the tip of the heat wave. I guess some people got it already. It's getting, it's warming up. You can see it, that light, that summer light. The heat, I'm about to go on vacation. Probably a mistake, but nah, it's not. Um, just got a lot to do before then. Um, yeah, got a lot of products. Probably got a tank top on. <laughs> What's up? Tight tank. <laughs> We had to we had to finally give these tanks some names. Willie Willie like just intuitively knew all our tanks and each one was different. Well not each one, but well, they all have their own character. Each tank is special and unique. This is the Nyko Gaze tank. How does it feel? Feels really good. Feels like a like a base layer thing made for I need something. 80 GSM, yeah. Here, let's grab these. Get them out there. We got a tank and a cut cut two as well. I'm wearing the cut two. Um, it's a little bit of nothing. A little bit of nothing. So I'm wearing a medium. Yeah. Um, it is a tight tank. Yeah. But it doesn't feel. It's not compressive. Yeah, exactly. It's not a compressive it's tank. tank. It's a tight tank. Exactly. So it doesn't feel like um, our overkill mesh tank. At all, because that one like is really compressive. This one's just very fitted, so tight. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's the same uh, form actually as the Overkill Mesh, but um, the Overkill Mesh has a lot more snap. This has no elastic. Yeah. So let's talk about this fabric. Let's do it. You can see the fit. Uh, maybe you want to throw on the here. You can throw the shirt on top of it, and then uh, people will see a little bit. Of, you know, there's a slight transparency, but it's certainly not mesh like the Overkill Mesh. So like you might see a little tattoo, especially with the tight. Um, Tyler put on a medium, six foot, 160 pounds. 163. Um, yeah, so you can see like a little bit of the line of the of the undershirt, right? So there's a little, um, like a, more like a translucency than a transparency. But um, you know, this is incredibly light fabric and we're gonna get into the details. Um, exactly what it is and what and where and why um this is a, it was a first for us the mill wouldn't give us all the details we had to like tear it apart ourselves it wouldn't tell us everything about this fabric um but nyko gaze straight out of italy um new supplier for us it's simply i wonder if we ever done any production with them we've looked at their fabrics a while they're really really nice fabric beautiful knit spot in italy called bugnoli um, and, uh, so what's going on here, as best we can tell from our dissection of the fabric is, well, 30% nylon, Nyko, nylon, cotton, 30% nylon, 70% cotton. Um, and there's, well, the distinguished thing is how light it is. 80 GSM is super light, right? Our dream weight is 110 GSM. Um, and you know, like the Dreamway was calibrated to have UPF. This is not. I think the UPF comes out at five, right? Um, so it's just super light. It feels like air. It's very dry, almost like almost like a starchy touch, like like a little bit rough, but it's so light and so like not there that like it doesn't bother me. I could see it bothering somebody with really really sensitive skin, like because it is like it's very dry. And so what's happening here is it's a Again, I'm slightly guessing the mill would not actually confirm this, but I did take apart the yarns and look at it, and I'm 98% certain this is accurate. Um, is there's a nylon filament, right? And so nylon filament is extended, right? It can go miles, right? Um, so you got a nylon filament, and then it's wrapped with cotton around it. Um, so the nylon's hidden, but it's giving you that core strength, right? And also can give it a little bit of stiffness compared to cotton, because cotton is a crimped fiber, naturally crimped. Kind of collapses in and of itself and if you twist it really tight and things like that and this is probably a high twist yarn relatively high twist yarn just from guessing um you know it'll stiffen up um and that's what you need to keep it open right to get that kind of airflow otherwise it would collapse and then when it collapses us it gets heavier right there's more fabric per square inch per square meter whatever so um as it collapses it actually gets heavier and then obviously it prevents air from going through 
Um, so this is 80 GSM, super, super light. Again, it's got that nylon core. And then the last process is that it, it's given like an enzyme wash, an enzyme treatment, um, kind of burning away um, the hairiness uh, off the fibers. And that's part of what's giving it such a dry hand feel. Um, but it's also opening it up, right? Because like the fuzziness, cotton is naturally fuzzy. If you think about cotton ball, right? It's naturally like a little bit of fuzz. And when you twist it all together, like those fuzzes kind of stick out a little bit. Um, and this burns them off. And that helps like keep it really open so you get that airflow. Um, and so people are asking, why would you use this over Rami Lust? Well, it's like less than half the weight, right? Um, so if you want light, I'd say like, you know, the Romulus is an actively drying fabric. Like it soaks up moisture and cotton, when it soaks up, they both soak up moisture, but like the more fabric you have, I want to do this on camera, right? So the more, and I've got the, the T on right now. Um, so the more fabric you have, the more moisture can suck up. So the Romulus is very heavy. It's very, very heavy for a summer fabric, right? The Romulus is a hundred, 210 GSM from memory. Um, and so, that's like in your, like, not a heavyweight tee, but it's like the, the top of maybe, you know, it's like a Hanes beefy tee, like a beefy, a heavy middleweight, right? And so, um, it's soaking up lots of moisture, um, whereas this is not going to soak up a lot of moisture because it's going to wet out really quick, right? It's only, you know, it's only 70% cotton, it's only 80 GSM, so I, the math quickly, like, is what, like, that's like 55 something, 60% GSM of cotton, and the nylon can absorb a tiny bit of moisture, but only like 4%, right? So, um... It's not going to absorb a lot of moisture, but it's really, really open, right? It's similar openness to the Romulus, and it weighs nothing. And so you get, like, basically, like, with Romulus, it's nice. It's cooling. Um, it's actively cooling in a way, right? Um, but it's heavy. This is light. It's like nothing. If you want something that just feels like the air is just flowing over you without, you know, it, you know barely being there is kind of, like, the vibe. Um, and the reason you would go for this, like you want something that's like nothing there. Again, like, you know, like we had a, a stack of the size set, like we were people trying it on, trying to figure out if the sizing was right and stuff. Uh, we do this for pretty much every product. And um, somebody was looking for the cut two t-shirts and on the top were the tanks and they saw the stack and they were like, I can only find the tanks, like I can't find the t-shirts. The and they were all in the same stack, but this fabric is so nothing, right? So like compacted that like they thought that a stack of 12 shirts and tanks was just a stack of six tanks, right? Um, yeah, pairing with a paper and cotton is very, very similar. You know, they, they're similar weights, um, similar like kind of like they're, they're using different techniques to keep the, the cotton really, really crispy and open. Um, what do you think Nyko Gaze's durability will be like? We can't say 80 g is really light. Nylon is strong, right? So, again, let me try and do the math. Three times eight is 24. Right? So, there's 24 grams of nylon in there. So, um, nylon is, is durable, but... You know, 24 GSM of nylon is like a very, very light windbreaker. It should be relatively durable from that regard. It's knit, right? So windbreaker is woven and might be calendarized and things like that. So, um, I don't know. Like, you can, like, I don't have any problem, like, like pushing on it, right? Like, like some, like most light fabrics like this in a knit, like you did this, like, on say 80 GSM merino or something, you rip right through it, right? So it's pretty robust like that. It doesn't deform that much either, which is nice. Like usually if you do that, like you get a major, de eh, I deformed it a little bit. Um, pushing too hard. Um, but it's pretty robust, but we don't know. Like we worn it a bit, we wore it last summer, but we haven't like pushed it. I think in your everyday wear and tear, it's like gonna hold up pretty damn good. But like, I don't know if you're like, you know, go again, like you're like going, off-road into the backcountry through brambles and stuff like I don't know how it's gonna handle in that kind of situation uh, or if you crash it'll probably rip right um, it's a really really light fabric It's quite robust for its weight with that like filament core right um, but again it's super light fabric that's how they got the t-shirt on let's give it another shot oh yeah we already saw that yeah I can do other sizes uh, yeah there was a question about shrinkage yeah
It shrinks a lot. At, at the gate, we recommend it's calibrated for shrinkage. This, these are pre-washed. Um, well, actually, I pulled this one off the table, so I don't know if it's pre-washed. You should just pull that other one. Okay. I think it's pre-washed, but, um, but the ones over there are definitely pre-washed. So uh, the one I'm wearing is it's been washed, um, not pre-washed. They, they, they come unwashed. Um, they shrink quite a bit. The, other, the Cut 2 was scaled. Somebody mentioned this online. Um, we scaled the Cut 2 up a size. We were finding like Cut 2 is generally like wears better a size up. Um, and then it might just shrink out a little bit. The measurements say it doesn't, so it might just be a psychological thing. I'm wearing an X. Yeah, I'm actually a good thing, right? So I'm wearing the XL, which is my true to size, but I usually wear a double XL in the Cut 2. So, so I guess it did work. Like I think this feels about right. Um, this is true to size, but it's a size down from what I used to get in cut twos. So here's Tyler in a, in a washed medium. This is a medium, yeah? Yeah. Let's yeah, I can Tyler. feel it. It's like um, shorter than the other one, but yeah. this is a great thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you pull it down in the front. You had it like this kind of, yeah. Here you go. Yeah, so this is Tyler, true to size, medium. Again, six foot, what, 162 or something? 163, yeah. 163 gains. Um, uh, and so, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty dialed in cut, but we can try on some other up and down if people want to see. And this is washed again, so this is that it will shrink considerably in the wash. So, um, and yeah, again, like if, you, if you're used to buying cut two, these are um, scaled up, they're sized up from the old ones, so like that means you could buy a size down possibly. Um, all right, what else do we got? I'll put on different tanks. Uh, Tyler, well, you're going to do the t-shirts. So we're talking about the t-shirts, and then, okay. we'll, then we'll do the tanks. And then we got a lot of colors out here. We got a lot of spray paint action. Um, so just dive in on the, on the details, the spray, the, the stochiastic. Next. One thing I feel about this t-shirt is that I don't have like a lot of wear and tear on it at all, but it is something that I could see wearing all year round rather than the Romulus. You would not wear all year round because it gets super cold. Yeah, yeah. The Romulus is like, again, like has that sort of active cooling, whereas this is more about like the, uh, the absence of material. This is size down. It's a size small, yes. Yeah. So this is Tyler sizing down. Um, one size, and you can see if you want that tight fit, like sizing down, kind of gets that. Um, and let's let's try to size up. Yep. I'm gonna just kind of graze over these colors. This is coming out pretty bright out. It's it's uh, washing out a bit. Maybe we should white balance. Let's see if I can slowly graze over these and grab some white paper and see if we can white balance this thing. Uh, white, but come on, come on, go pure white. Okay. Um, does not wipe. <laughs> you can see that the vapor is not going white. That's annoying as fuck. Uh, maybe I guess it uh, in getting in the reflective side. Maybe this way. Yeah, this way is getting better color, but you can see the paper is not going pure white. There we go up there. I guess we got to do that, but now we lost the focus. Um, all right, so this is Tyler sized up yeah. one size this is a large size large. Yeah, that's pretty good So I'd still say size up over size down even though we did grade it up a size uh, But true to size is pretty damn good. Yeah um, All right Shall we dive in let's see if there's any other questions and then we're gonna dive into um, uh, Scanning the questions here we're gonna dive into some spray pig action. How did a papery cotton do? It did really nice. It's expensive, but it's beautiful. And yes, we plan to do more of it. Um, I don't know if people want love those two pockets. Um, all right. Um, spray pig time. You guys probably know what's up with the spray pig. So these are Inject box furs, and there's one Inject short sleeve back up there. Um, the Inject box furs, plastic cut, how they can put some of these on. 
I guess we can ask what color people want. So let me see if I can... Re we had to rename these colors because it's, it's this goddamn one, right? We were like, oh, let's make a formula blue on yellow. Like, so this is blue on black, right? Or was black on yellow, right? Or sulfur or whatever we're calling it. Uh, and so we had a whole formula and we named it. And then we came in and we're like, yes, blue turns into green, but nobody's going to like look at the shirt and say this is the blue on yellow shirt unless you're like deep into color theory. Um, so we renamed them all. This one's Plant Life. Uh, I think this one's Sunburst, Glacial Rust, uh, Mudlark back here for the short sleeve, uh, Night Vibes over here, and uh, what did I call this one? Sulfuric? It. Sulfuric, I think. That one's sulfuric, so the sulfur, sulfuric. Um, uh, smoke sulfur? A smoke sulfur. Oh, uh, yeah. Everything else had two, so I, got, I came, became smoke sulfur. My bad. You get to see the whole naming process through my mind. Um, How come the popover was taken down a few weeks ago? Because nobody was buying any of the coral popovers that were left. Um, so yeah, let's look at some colors and maybe put it on Tyler. Yeah, let's just go color by color. You got a favorite? Which one, which one are you uh, drawn towards, Tyler? What's, what's the vibe? What's the energy? Uh, the yellow. This one, what do you call this? Smoke sulfur? Smoke sulfur for Tyler. He wants to... We're going to... You know, boom. This one's the full. This one's a full-on color choice. I, uh, it's bold. I'm appreciating it. So, you know, there's a lot of variants. This one in particular, high contrast, you're going to get even more variants. Each one's going to be different um, with the spray. And so, you know, some of it's predictable. Like, so, like, if you go under here, right, like, the spray doesn't get in there. So you get that little contrast. Um, but That's some right. of it's, some yeah. of it's variable. Probably looks cool. Yeah, you get a little flow open... Yeah, a lot of texture, a lot of character, a little bit of snake skin. All right, let's see what's up next. People can also nominate, but right now I have nothing here. So Tyler, what do you want? Uh, let's just go in order. What's the next one that you want? You want the, the, this one? The, oh, yeah, sure. I mean, that's easy. Yeah, let's, well, let's do the yellows, I guess. Plant life. Plant life. Plant life. Yeah, I mean, I guess one point that people are saying that injects, one, one thing with the injects, these are, um, these are roll-dyed injects, yeah, so, like, it's, there's not a lot of color variation because of the poly, like, in here, because it's roll-dyed, but, um, so you can't really see much, but in theory, there's three colors going on, right, because there's, like, a little bit of color variation in the, in the injects, plus, um, the spray, uh, but it really, you know, it looks like two, so this is plant life. This is t actually a blue spray on there, right? But it turns green. It's interesting. We're still learning more. Like, some pigments, like, kind of like... This is the first time the pigment really did the... Com you know, that's how you expect a dye to... Like, dyes are going to combine, right? That's what you expect. The pigments... Um, the pigment... Like, the difference between a dye and a pigment is a pigment sits on top of the fiber, right? Whereas a dye goes inside of it and makes a chemical bond. Whereas, like... Uh, I mean, it's a slight chemical bond, but it's more like a gluing on the outside when you have a pigment. Um, and so generally like, you know, when you mix two dyes or even if you mix two pigments, sometimes like they can combine, but mixing a dye and a pigment, you wouldn't expect this kind of emergent color, but it, but it happened. So blue spray on, um, on the sulfur and uh, the yellow and you get a green plant life, real nice vibe. Um, and then the third sulfur joint and, you know, one of the, there's three sulfurs cause you know, like. Sulfur's not a, a, you know, these pop colors don't sell, right? They're there to, for energy. Um, that's true. It's just the reality. We're not going to, like, we're not, we're not gatekeeping. We're not hiding anything. Like, when we do a really bright color like this, there's exceptions every once in a while, but it's like a die roll. If a, if a bright color is going to sell well, um, it's there for, for the vibes. Um, so, but we knew that, like, we could spray pig these. So we were like, all right, we're willing to do a, uh, some sulfur um, and so here it is with the, an orange on it so this becomes I think I called it sunburst yeah sunburst you can see this one and again there's gonna be some variants 
right? You can see like from the folds and stuff like different texture. So every every one is gonna be a little bit different, a little bit vibey. Um, but yeah, this one's like your Looks summer great. glow. Yeah. I really like this one. Yeah, yeah, summer glow, summer glow. And then like taking the orange, the same. So again, this is the same orange here. Here, hold them the next to each other so people can see too. All right, so same spray. Um, you can see it looks very, very different. This is on the uh, uh, ice breeze. So um, we got glacial rust now, right? So we went from the sunburst to the glacial rust. I guess that's what happens uh, when the globe is warming. Um, so yeah, it's interesting. Same shirt, two different base colors, same spray. So one variable, very different effect, um, but looks good. You get your little bit of, uh, you know, your your Sarah runoff going yeah, on. Yeah, it really feels like that. And yeah. then when I put it on, I'm like, I want to cut. It's funny because yeah, it's, so it's funny because the Sarah, like the Core 10 steel, is a much darker. You know, this is like the runoff. It's, it's not the actual Core 10, but yeah. It's like what went through my mind immediately. Yeah. All right. Interesting. Maybe it's this part too, right? Um, yeah, and finally, we got the night vibes. So this is actually a black shirt with blue pigment on it. it kind of looks the other way around, which is interesting. This happens sometimes, or it really tricks the eye. Um, and this fucking good looking shirt, night vibes. Um, give it a spin. Yeah, this is a good looking shirt. I guess we don't really know how this affects the breathability. It shouldn't be too bad. Or let's like see just, how much. Just wearing it right now just doesn't feel like much effect. Yeah. Um, Probably is super. If there's any noticeable effect, it's very minor. Very minor yeah. uh, is our guess. Um. All right. What else do we got? So that's night vibes, and then we got one last. We got the the short sleeve. Uh, somebody asked about camp collars. We're not planning to spray them. I guess there's a tiny chance, but it's pretty late. They came late. That's the problem. If they came on time, <laughs> if they came on time, it'd be a different story. They came fucking late. Uh, so um, this is the mudlark in the short sleeve. This was supposed to be an olive, but I guess it came out uh, brown. You can see, it's on the collar. Uh, sorry, on the placket, you can sort of see the the oliveness to it. But it's pretty much brown. Not the pocket, sorry, the pocket. You can see a little bit of olive. Oh, yeah. yeah, or even, I guess if you see, you can see it. You can see it a little bit on the buttons. Um, but overall, it's just, you know, this is mudlark, man. You, you getting dirty. Um, but it looks fucking good. Mm -hmm. um, and... I guess in full disclosure, like, so the part of the reason this one particularly exists is that the white uh, short sleeves uh, were sewn, uh, you can't see it now, but they they put a black fusible in here, or you're supposed to put a white fusible in there, and so they got sewn up wrong, and we're like, that looks weird, and then we're like, oh, okay. It was really our fault. Send it to the sprayer. It was definitely our fault. Send it to the, oh, all right, it was our fault. We, we forgot to spec it properly. Um, but... You know, our loss is the sprayer's gain. Um, and there it is. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, no, I mean, it looks good. Let's give it another run through. Oh, here's the inside, right? You can hear, you can see how, like, looking on the inside, you can see the base color. This is interesting, right? So this is black with the blue night vibes. And oh, this one came out gorgeous. Gorgeous. Uh, they all did, though. No, no favorite child. Um, ice breeze with the orange is uh, glacial rust, aka Sarah runoff. Uh, but glacial rust is the name. And then we got the sulfur joints. There's that sulfur with the orange uh, sunburst, sunburst, aka a knockoff starburst. Um, sulfur with and this is this is blue spray you can see it actually on the white right it's blue spray but we got a color shift uh very in line with how color theory works so not totally surprising but we don't usually see it um and so this is uh your plant life 
Injects Oversize is now pushed to July. Not happy about that, but yes, hopefully early July for Injects Oversized. Um, last but not least on the box first, we got so, um, Sulfur with the black smoke sulfur that energy the high contrast that's the highest contrast of the joints Tyler's not taking the mudlark off <laughs> I was looking for the spray yeah I couldn't find it yeah Injects tensions I, we don't have a date but they're soon soon on the Injex tensions and dart flows uh, as soon as we get them out of the factory essentially um, should we tease we're still working out the details of stuff. I, we we're hoping to get it this week, but I don't know if it's going to come this week. But we got some, some sun warp coming too. Not today. Uh, did I miss any products? I don't know where the... Oh, there they go. That's before we talk about upcoming stuff. Uh, linen foil shorts should be next week. Sun warp, I think it's probably going to be next week. We were hoping to get it on Thursday, but I don't think it's going to happen. Um... But yeah, before we move into stuff like in four minutes, right? Nyko Gaze tanks. Cotton, nothing. It's got a nylon core. 30% um, by weight. Nylon core filament, so it gives it a lot of robustness. If you just did a cotton... You know, so cotton is a staple fiber, first of all, right? So cotton, you know, a bunch of staples, like roughly this... I mean, it varies. Like we sometimes use extra long staple or whatever. Roughly like this long. Um, and they're all twisted together, tons and tons of millions and millions of twisted together to form a yarn, right? And you can form a really, really fine yarn and make a really light cotton. Um, but when you get really light, you lose durability. Um, cotton can get pretty strong, but in a knit, um, you know, in a woven, you have a lot more control over the tension in a way. Like the, in a knit, the tension essentially is about how tight it is, right? So if you want breathability and lightweight, Right. If you want open and lightweight, you're going to get something pretty flimsy. It's, it's not very tight, right? Um, whereas in woven, you can twist it tight and then weave it in a way that you can kind of stay open like the papery cotton. Um, but in a knit like this, like if you want tightness, then generally uh, that means it's going to close. But by putting a nylon core in here, which makes the fabric, you know, the, the yarn significantly stronger, um, we're able, and then also doing an enzyme treatment to like kind of burn away um, the fuzziness in between it you can create this really, really light, really open fabric that, that has a, a pretty nice robustness. Again, we haven't tested it long term. Um, it's only 80 GSM, so it's super light, but it does have that, that nylon component, roughly 24 grams of nylon in there um, per square meter. Um, and so that is the Nyko Gaze, two forms. We got the Cut 2 which is scaled up slightly from previous cut twos, runs slightly larger, but we still recommend true to size or even sizing up. And then we got the tight tank, which is like a snug tank fit. Um, and again, you can size up or down on that, probably up if you want it less tight. Will the rib tank come back? Yes, we're working on bringing rib tank back. Yes, uh, it has a lot of drama, but we're working on it. Um, Not anymore, it's good now. Knock on wood, knock on wood, fingers crossed. The thing has been through a lot. Sun warp, little tease on the sun warp. Look at that, that's the uh, pink, what I call this stuff, pink snake lightning. Pink snake lightning. It's just loud, it's vibrant, it's a very different fabric for us. Uh, and so one minute, well this is coming, I think next week, maybe we'll get it, now. Nah, it's probably next week. We got four colors. I only have two of them here. Uh, these are the raw cut tanks. These are the first ones to come. And they're also hopefully going to be another product that I got to dig out of the bag with the arms. Um, yellow, pink snake lightning. And there's also a yellow snake lightning and a regular pink. Just like that. Um, without, the, without the print. Um, that's just a tease. I'm gonna go in. I'm, we gotta figure out all the logistics. I'm supposed to go on vacation. All this shit. We're gonna talk a lot about night, the sun warp, but um, yeah.
Yeah, uh, we'll get into it. It's very different fabric. It's really nice. Here, uh, well, here I'll go. Let's go to my bag, and then we're gonna dig out. I'm gonna walk over here, dig in the bag, and I'll show you the other side. Somewhere down here, they're small. There it is. Arms. A little bit of arms. There's some old prototypes, actually. Oh. So this is coming. I'd say I'd say most likely this is next Tuesday. We got to figure out that logistic. We were really hoping to have it Thursday, but I don't think it's going to happen. But I love this product. It's one of my favorite products we've done in a long time. I'm not supposed to say that. Uh, there's all these questions too but these arms super simple sunblock you can wear I put these on when I'm outside I got my short sleeve shirt on I'm chilling and then it gets too fucking sunny and I hate sunblock but you know this you can just put on it doesn't wash off um, it applies incredibly like consistently and smoothly when you put it on full coverage no gaps boom but we'll talk about this later let's ask let's answer some questions um, any outlier boxers or underwear? Yes, yes, soon, soon. There's a paper cotton boxers. I think they were in ideas. They're super nice. They're really expensive to be worn. Um, I'm not a boxer person, so I can't speak to them, but but really knocked that one out the park. They're beautiful. They're incredibly lightweight. Um, nice details. So they're coming really soon. Uh, any notable changes to Inject's oversized shirts this run? The sizing is... It's not bad because they're oversized, but like they, there was a lot of wonkiness with, you know, the reason why they're so delayed is they, they cut the sizes wrong and we had to go there and readjust, um, and what the hell we're talking about. So what, like what we were trying to do was, was do every other size because it really doesn't matter very much the difference between like when it's, they're all oversized, right? I can wear the extra small, um, and it's a little short, but otherwise, um, fits me right it's actually off my shoulder still like an extra small so the oversized shirt they're all oversized um so it doesn't matter that much like the difference between a medium and a large or whatever like you can wear both slight visual effect but you barely notice it i i oscillate between larges and extra large and old run all the time and you barely notice it um so we're like oh let's do every other size in fact they fucked up and they just did blah, blah, blah. so they came in for the whole different size set then than we asked for and we had to go recalibrate and change things so who knows they look good they feel good um but the sizing we still got to sort out a little bit um and that's like not till july uh we were hoping to have them sooner any new pants coming i mean we got the Inject tensions that's a brand new pant never done that particular combo we've got uh Inject's, uh dart flows coming and which we did as an experiment once and that's the main pants. I mean, there's going to be restocks. Those are the main new pants uh, in the near future, but there are, you know, obviously plenty of things in development. Um, other questions? Up. Everything's up. So, oh, well, not everything on the table, but uh, the two tanks, I'm sorry, the two Nyko Gaze are up. Nyko Gaze tank, Nyko Gaze cut two, and the two spray pigs. So you got your spray pig, lots of colors of the Boxford. This is smoked sulfur, this is plant life, um, this is sunburst, this is glacial rust, aka Sarah runoff, and this is night vibes. And uh, Tyler still hasn't taken off the one inject short sleeve. Uh, I guess that's yours now, Mudlark. Um, and there we go. Um, I think that's it for the questions. So on that note, I'm out, but stay tuned for uh, a little bit. I can't put it on one-handed, but again, one of my favorite products. Um, Sun Warp Arms, also Sun Warp Tanks. And again, I think it's looking more like Tuesday on these. Uh, we're really hoping to get them up, but I might do a live about them on Thursday uh, just to talk in depth about this new material before I bounce. So. Arms in my hand, and uh, I'll catch you all later. Peace.